Well, Kohlhammer actually was founded in 1866. And we do a transformation from a classical sheet fat printer now to have sheet fat printing and digital services. No, it's, it's more than just printing, you know. We try to understand the workflow from our customers and then we try to get into that workflow real early. So be part of that delivery chain so we can make jobs easy for our customer. The most important thing is the customer. For my opinion, you, you gotta listen to the customer. You gotta listen about their need and then find out, you know, how can you support them. I, I don't think it's difficult at all. I mean, you just gotta listen and think about how, how big is your willing to invest in their needs and try to find a solution. For me, it's not hard at all. Uh, first, you gotta understand what, what, what they need and then you gotta think about how can you invest in technology to solve their problems. Part of it, part of it is, you know, magazines and, and catalogs, but we also do the little stuff, but in a, in a row. Like, you know, we have print on demand systems. We do have web shop systems for our customer. It's not always a big job, but it's kind of mass customizing we, we're into. We always look at the technology you can get on the market and try to pick out the best product for us to have the best solution for the customer. We have about three eight color presses from Heidelberg. It's a, all out of 106. They all have impress control. Um, you have fast uh, plate changes, real uh, uh, fast setup costs. And we do have a lot of digital printing equipment, which we newly invested. And I think that's the growing market. So we will keep investing in digital uh, printing equipment. The thing of it was, you know, why we did it, um, you have a lot of additional work if you run an offset press. You have to order material, you have to be sure that the right material is on the press, you have to check all the time, is it the correct material? Do you get the best results out of this material? And that's why we thought, you know, why not taking the machine company uh, to, to support us with all the knowledge and take all that manual stuff like ordering away from us so we can concentrate actually on printing and they should do what is in their mind to do delivery a press and all, all the material you need to run the press. And they're in charge of it for, 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 for the whole uh, workflow. Same thing, uh, you, you gotta see what is the need of your customer and then you have to provide solutions. Uh, for, for example, we have one customer who, who asked if we are able to wrap his magazines into paper. And we thought about it and that met our DNA of sustainability. Um, we, we were looking at machines and we bought a machine where we can wrap, actually wrap magazines into paper, which is individually digital printed. One part of this product is sustainability, but the other one is to add more value to the product because we can transport or, or, or help the customer to be more successful because we, we can help them getting more advertising, more publicity because they can put individual uh, digital print on, on the front side or on the back side cover. Yeah, or you know, we are able to to print on both sides. So if you wanna have a certain mes message for your customer, the outside can be just the, the top side of the magazine. And on the inside, we can put a, a certain message, an individual message for the customer of their customer. And there's one thing we have on top of it because we can create a certain web page and we put a QR code on that cover so 
our customer is able to check how their customers like the, the, the new rap magazine. That's not hard to convince the people. If, if they are willing to, to have a product come in without any damage to the customer, I think sooner or later, you have to have it in paper because plastic will be banned. We are certified by the Deutsche Post and we made a lot of send outs, trying out send outs so, so the machines can handle it without damaging. And most of the regulations in there, they are coming from, from our machine, right? Well, that's really easy because, you know, our operator only has to load the pallet to the machine. The machine does the rest and we have Kobo stacks, which do the delivery from the folded paper to a pallet. So he doesn't have to take care about uh, taking all that material off the machine and put it on a pallet. He only has to feed it. We set up a, a workflow, a special certain workflow where we put special 3D codes on, on that printed sheet. And when we put the pile of paper into the folding machine, there's a, a little camera who, who's scanning that, that QR code, and then the rest is an automatic setup. Uh, the camera reads the job, the machine sets up all the need, and with that, the machine knows exactly what signature has to go on one pallet, and then the machine starts automatically, and the robot arm takes it to the pallet, and if there is a signature change, the robot knows that and put the next signature to the next pallet. Actually, very easy because you know we, we try to get our, our people into this decision. And actually, what we did this time, we took the operator to the shows and let him decide what kind of machine he wants to have. So now they are happy that they don't have the hard work anymore. You know, it's a lot better for you back. And, and, and they try to getting better and better and better because they made the decision. 100%, not because I don't want to have employees or people, but for what I see, we need to save the labor for important work and let the, the robots do the hard and easy work. So try to assist, try to help to get our people better. That's a big, big issue right now in the printing company because not too many young people are into the printing company. So we need to save it. You hardly get good people which wants to run in two or three shifts. So we have to have that support of those cobots. Usually you have one worker uh, on one machine. Right now we have one worker on three machines. So the labor, which is most part of it, you know, divides it by three.